Yo, what's going on? This is Marcus, the Debt Free Dad. This is Free Game Friday on a Saturday, and I don't really got no game for y'all. It's really kind of a question. I want some feedback. Y'all let me know if I approach this the right way. So, in this video, hey, before we even get started, check this out. Yo! You hear that? It's quiet. Nobody here. I got peace and quiet. It's just me. Me and my buddy over here, me and the dog just chilling. I have these moments that are few and far between, so I, I was like, hey, I'm going to just record it this way, and that's going to go through the whole setup. But essentially, my son wanted a guitar. Now, question number one is for parents, or if you are a parent, how do you go about supporting your child's interest but not burning yourself financially? Because we, we all know kids have the attention span like goldfish. They end something one week, two weeks later, they forget about it completely. So if you actually supported every interest your kids had financially, you might go broke. So let me know how you all do it. My son wanted an electric guitar. So credit to him. He worked this summer. So he actually purchased an electric guitar. All right, so he brought it out. He can be like, you got my guitar in my room? Man, be quiet. This is my house, punk. But uh, <laughs> so, yeah, he actually bought himself an electric guitar, right? So in buying that electric guitar, move. Get off me. Move, dog. Move. I don't want all that throwing me. Move. I got on black jeans. Move, place. See, I say place, then he go, place. Stay. If I say place, then he go. I got to raise my voice for him to listen, just like with the kids. I don't understand it. But in any event, he wanted this guitar. So he was working all summer. He purchased the guitar. He paid about $190 of his own money for this guitar. And so what I told him, and I thought this was a fair way to make sure that he still expresses an interest in it before I make a financial commitment to it. I said, hey, you start school next week. You already purchased the guitar. If after six to eight weeks, you taking care of what you need to take care of in school and you are still interested in this guitar, I'll go ahead and flip the bill to get you guitar lessons. I thought that was fair. So that's kind of the approach that we're taking. So that's that's kind of point number one and question number one. Parents, how do you go about supporting your kids interests financially, but not burning yourself financially doing it? Because, you know, like I said, kids have a short attention span. Question number two, or not question number two, but topic number two is teenagers are hard-headed as hell, right? So my son is at the age where he's going to the mall and want to hang out with his friends or what have you, which is fine. That's good. That's, you know, good socially in the whole nine. But he goes out, and of course, he wants to go out and do things at the mall. He's going to be spending money. So when he worked during this summer, I essentially told him, I said, look, you have, this is how much money you made. This is how much money is going to be in your savings account. You can't touch whatever this is. So as he's spending, going out, doing stuff, of course his spending money is going down, down, down. But <laughs> interestingly enough, that savings account is sitting still. And so, you know, when we had the conversation on the way to the mall, I was telling them and I thought about it. I said, you know what? Some lessons are easier to learn from getting kicked in the nuts as opposed to having someone actually tell you about it and so i said he knows how much is in his account i'm gonna let him spend and transfer as he see fit uh throughout the year and if he spends to a point where he has nothing in his savings account that's just where it's going to be there. and when he doesn't have anything and he swipes that card and it doesn't go through he just going to be at the mall with his friends hungry as hell or waiting outside the movie theaters until they get out or he going to have to figure out how to get home because I'm not transferring on no money now is that a little cruel yeah but two things as a parent I always say it's a parent's job to teach their kids a lesson it's a child's job is that lesson going to be an easy one or a difficult one so I'm going to give him the freedom and the leverage to make decisions and it's up to him to make the proper decision. If he makes an improper decision, he'll be a broke ass with no money and he'll have to work and be out here cutting grass and doing all sorts of odd jobs to get his money back up. And that's just what it's going to be. I think that was the best approach, um, you know, 
kids are hard headed and they have short attention spans and so it is what it is i can keep telling them the same thing oh this is your savings account don't spend this don't spend this but if he inching to spend it i'm not gonna say anything else i'm gonna let him go ahead do what he need to do and when he absolutely broke and he needs something to want something he just won't get the damn thing that's just kind of how it is that's an easy lesson to learn so uh, that's kind of my approach so let me know what are your takes on those two points parents uh if you're not a parent how do you think a parent should encourage their child's interest but not do so to waste uh you know money financially because like i said kids have the attention span of a goldfish and if you if you got lessons for everything a kid was interested in you'll be a broke ass you'll be homeless and it wouldn't work out that way so what is your approach that's kind of my approach hey you make the first steps and if you still show interest after a period of time where I know your interest typically would wane or die off then I'll go ahead and make some type of financial commitment because hey you took some affirmative steps so as a parent it's my job to take some affirmative steps and let let me know also what is your approach to you know teenagers and money like it's easy when they are young and they aren't going anywhere and hanging out with friends but once they get older and they want to get clothes and do all that stuff I'm not going to be preaching to the choir about what he needs to keep in his savings account. I'm going to let him do what the hell he needs to do. And if he spend too much, he just won't have no damn money. And he'll have to work hard and get his money back up and learn the hard way. Kind of like how I did. <laughs> so I think that's the, the best approach. Y'all let me know what y'all think. This was a real short video. It was a free game Friday on a Saturday. But it's not really game. I mean... I gave y'all my approach, but I'm really interested to see what y'all think. So let me know what's good. Of course, as always, it's always sirens in any video because y'all know how it is in D.C. And I love y'all. Take care. Y'all be blessed. Peace.